In the realm of rock music, where the echoes of guitar strings and the power of raw vocals have the capacity to touch souls, Chester Bennington emerged as a voice of a generation. As the lead vocalist of Linkin Park, his ability to articulate the complexities of human emotion through music made him a beacon for countless fans worldwide. Today, we delve into the story of a man whose life was as impactful as his untimely departure was tragic. Born on March 20th, 1976, in Phoenix, Arizona, Chester's journey into the world of music was fueled by a passion to escape the challenges of his early life and to express himself in ways only melodies and lyrics could allow. Linkin Park's debut album, Hybrid Theory, catapulted Chester and his bandmates into the spotlight, resonating with an entire generation, grappling with feelings of alienation and seeking solace in the band's unique blend of rock, metal, and electronic music. Chester's voice, characterized by its emotional depth and versatility, became synonymous with the band's identity. Through albums like Meteora and Minutes to Midnight, he continued to explore themes of despair, resilience, and redemption, forging an indelible connection with fans across the globe. His performances, both live and recorded, were visceral outpourings of emotion, capturing the essence of the human experience in every note. Chester battled personal demons that stemmed from a turbulent childhood, marked by abuse and the challenges of coping with sudden fame. Music was his outlet, a way to channel his struggles into something tangible and universally understood. Through his art, Chester gave voice to the voiceless and strength to those fighting their own battles in the shadows of their minds. The outpouring of support after the tragic death of Linkin Park's lead singer, Chester Bennington. The Grammy Award-winning father of six believed to have taken his life at his home in California. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with new details about his private struggle. Such an incredibly sad story, Gio. Unbelievable, Amy. Good morning. Chester Bennington was just 41, the lead vocalist for Linkin Park for nearly two decades, an extraordinary singer-songwriter, and fans are now pointing to his own lyrics for clues about that personal struggle. The news of Chester Bennington's death on July 20th, 2017, sent shockwaves through the music community and beyond. But I'm tired of losing everybody I love to depression and addiction. Every single band member on the stage has dealt with those feelings, with those demons. And I miss the friends that we've lost. Miss Chester, Miss Scott, Miss Chris. His passing not only marked the loss of a beloved artist, but also highlighted the often overlooked mental health struggles faced by those in the limelight. Chester's legacy, however, remains undiminished. Through his music, he continues to inspire, comfort, and empower, reminding us of the transformative power of art and the importance of compassion in the face of adversity. In the wake of Chester Bennington's tragic death, a multitude of fans and observers began to look for answers beyond the official narrative. One of the most pervasive conspiracy theories to emerge was the speculation linking Chester's death to that of his close friend Chris Cornell, who had died just two months earlier. Both were iconic figures in the music world and their deaths were ruled as suicides by hanging, leading to intense speculation and sorrow within their communities. This theory suggests that the similarities in their deaths were more than a tragic coincidence. Supporters of this theory point to the deep friendship between Chester and Chris, highlighting Chester's visible devastation at Cornell's funeral and his tribute in the form of a heart-rending performance of Hallelujah. My name's Chester, and uh, yeah, I have the great privilege of being a friend of Chris. 
and invited to be a member of the family. In honor of Chris's memory, I'd like to perform um, the passages from the song of Hallelujah. another layer of intrigue and sorrow, fueling speculation that the timing was too significant to overlook. Proponents of this theory delve into the personal struggles both men faced, suggesting that their mutual battles with mental health issues and the pressures of fame may have made them targets for manipulation or harm by external forces. The idea posits that the music industry known for its brutal pressures and sometimes exploitative nature, might hold darker secrets tied to the demise of its most vulnerable and outspoken talents. While this theory remains speculative, lacking concrete evidence, it reflects a broader search for meaning and connection in the face of inexplicable loss. It underscores the profound impact that Chester Bennington and Chris Cornell had on their fans and the music world at large, prompting a deeper examination of the circumstances surrounding their deaths and a call for greater awareness and support for mental health within the artistic community. Another theory that surfaced in the aftermath of Chester Bennington's death was rooted in the idea that he was silenced because of his supposed knowledge about industry-wide abuse networks. This theory gained traction among certain online communities, propelled by discussions about the dark underbelly of the entertainment industry, including exploitation and abuse. Advocates of this theory pointed to Chester's own history of abuse as a child and suggested that his experiences had given him insight into similar abuses within the music and entertainment industry. According to this narrative, Chester was on the verge of exposing these networks, making him a target for those who wish to keep such information hidden. The theory posits that his death was orchestrated to appear as a suicide, thereby preventing him from revealing damaging secrets. This conspiracy theory, while lacking verified evidence, highlights the growing concern over exploitation and abuse in the entertainment sector. It taps into a larger discourse on the need for transparency, accountability, and protective measures for artists and individuals within the industry. The conversation surrounding this theory reflects a collective desire to uncover the truth and protect vulnerable individuals from harm even as it ventures into speculative territory. Despite the intrigue and speculation fueled by this theory, it's crucial to approach such claims with critical thinking and a demand for solid evidence. The tragedy of Chester Bennington's death underscores the importance of addressing mental health issues openly and compassionately rather than attributing it to unverified external plots. The third conspiracy theory surrounding Chester Bennington's death delves into the realm of more esoteric speculation, suggesting that his suicide was part of a larger pattern of celebrity deaths orchestrated by secretive societies or shadowy industry groups. This theory is often linked 
to the belief in the existence of the Illuminati or similar clandestine organizations purported to control various aspects of the entertainment industry, including the fates of its most prominent figures. Proponents of this theory examine patterns they find suspicious or symbolic in the timing, manner, and public narratives of Chester's and other celebrities' deaths, suggesting that these are not mere coincidences, but rather orchestrated events with hidden meanings. They point to Chester's lyrics, public statements, and the imagery in Linkin Park's music videos as containing hidden messages or cries for help that were ultimately silenced by his untimely death. This theory, while captivating to some due to its mysterious and sensational nature, stands on speculative ground, lacking verifiable evidence and often relying on the misinterpretation of symbols or coincidences. It reflects a broader human tendency to seek patterns and connections in the face of tragedy, especially when the loss feels incomprehensible or when the individual had a profound impact on their fans and the world. Critically, while engaging with such theories, it's essential to remember the real human being at the center of these narratives. Chester Bennington's legacy is not defined by the speculative theories that followed his death, but by the music he created, the lives he touched, and the open discussions about mental health and the pressures of fame that his passing reignited. His story invites us to look deeper into the need for compassion, understanding, and support for those struggling with mental health issues, encouraging us to act and make a difference in the lives of those around us. As we conclude our exploration into the life and tragic death of Chester Bennington, it's clear that his legacy extends far beyond the realms of music and celebrity. Through the lens of the conspiracy theories that emerged in the wake of his passing, we have ventured into the depths of collective grief, speculation, and the human need to find meaning in loss. While these theories vary in plausibility and evidence, they underscore a universal truth. The impact of Chester's death resonates deeply with fans, prompting critical conversations about mental health, the pressures of fame, and the darker aspects of the entertainment industry. Chester Bennington's voice was a beacon for those who felt lost, his lyrics a solace for the troubled soul. In grappling with his demons through music, Chester made others feel less alone in their struggles. The speculative narratives that emerged after his death, although intriguing, pale in comparison to the tangible legacy he leaves behind. A catalog of music that continues to inspire, challenge, and heal. As we reflect on the theories and the man at the center of them, we are reminded of the importance of compassion and understanding for those who battle mental health issues. The speculative reasons for Chester's death should not overshadow the very real issues he faced, issues that affect countless others. Instead, let his passing be a catalyst for change, encouraging open dialogue about mental health, advocating for support systems within the entertainment industry, and reminding us to reach out to those in need. In remembering Chester Bennington, let us not be swayed by the shadow of conspiracy, but instead be guided by the light of his legacy. Let his music continue to serve as a reminder of his talent, his struggles, and his humanity. Chester's story is a call to action, a reminder to cherish the moments we have with our loved ones, to support those in pain, and to strive for a world where the stigma surrounding mental health is dismantled. Chester Bennington may have left the stage, but his melodies and memories linger on echoing in the hearts of those he touched. In honoring his legacy, we commit to understanding, empathy, and action 
ensuring that his light continues to shine on, guiding us toward a better, more compassionate world. If you are enjoying these short music documentaries, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. Leave a comment below on who or what you would like to see next. Head over to donkeymanrecords.com for more content.